Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber and happy from One Rental at a Time with Laura Morby. How are you doing, Laura? Hi, hi, happy. <laughs> <laughs> She's being a little chatterbox. I'm not sure how sensitive the mic is, but it's okay. You can talk all you want, happy. Yeah. Yeah. So, Laura, what I'd like to talk about in this particular episode is you and your husband train, mentor, teach, whatever the right word is, students. You've been doing that for years, mm -hmm. as have I. And I'm wondering, have you? Can you almost spot somebody who's going to do the work and go far versus, you know, the person's going to show up and do nothing? Or are you constantly surprised? Um, I think it goes, I think I could, I mean, obviously I can speak on it both ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you had Pace, Pace would probably have a completely different opinion because the amount of people that Pace teaches far sure. as mine. Um, but first thing first, there is no special like look to a successful person there's Agreed. a special set of circumstances to a successful person because sometimes you're like oh you're a single mom and you're a nurse and you you're struggling and you're about to lose your house like there's no way that this person is going to be successful this guy over here he's got you know, a really cush nine to five. He's working from home. He's maybe working three hours a day. He definitely has time. And his wife is also an income earner and he doesn't have kids yet. And he has just all these things that it should be perfect for him to do it. And she turns out to be successful and he turns out to do nothing. So there's also circumstances don't indicate success or not success. Totally agree. Um, I think that the only thing that I've noticed is that will set somebody apart is someone who actually takes action. And everyone, you hear that, take action, take it. Like that's like a little sound bite that yeah. all the coaches, all the videos, like this won't help you unless you take. And honestly, it really is the only thing that separates someone who's successful from someone who's not is someone who takes action consistently. Yeah. And, you know, you could have the perfect setup and you could have money and you could have time and maybe it goes to hunger, you know, like this person's not hungry. This person doesn't need it. And this person mm -hmm. does. Um, but it's just, it's someone who takes action. That's, that's literally it. You can have kind of a weird personality. Like you can meet someone who I'm like, oh, you're a little bit strange. <laughs> you could be super successful too, if you take action. Mm -hmm. So it really, I hate saying that because that sounds like I said. Yeah, let me, let me, let me add a little twist to that. Cause that's the, <laughs> that's my number one answer too. Mm -hmm. Um, but I want to put a little, little twist on it for me, right. When I try to be very simple, very straightforward, right. I'm talking usually to full-time employees, uh, you know, step one in my course is do, you know, build a buy box and then, oh, by the way, look at it every day. Right. And that's kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, that's what I want you to do. And I ask for 10 to 20 minutes, seven days a week, I'll take right. six, but I want seven. Right. And then I, then I stop. Right. Mm -hmm. And the students that come to me and they take that and they start doing it, their chances of success go through the roof. Right. The ones that I have, the, the ones that I see have less of a chance is they want to debate. They want to ask a thousand questions. Oh yeah. It, like, no, no, Michael, you don't get it. I'm like, no, you don't get it. I'm trying to teach you a skill and you want to debate me. I mean, this, I, yeah. So if you, if you are asking for help, if you, like you pit, you spend 300 bucks and buy my course, mm -hmm. and then you want to argue about step one, don't buy the course. Right. Cause that that's, that's all I know is that's the work. There's the path. You know, once you get to step three, I'll come back to you, but you know, I'm not going to do step one and step two for you. Um, yeah. I, I don't, are you, are you speaking on like the engineer type of questions or are you speaking on the analysis paralysis? Both process? of both, okay. both of them. Yeah. 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 Cause I if agree. You, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. The analysis paralysis is, this is so, oh, this is going to sound so bad. And at this point it's fine, but <laughs> it's fine. Right. It's fine. What? Um, there, there was a guy that I worked for super nice. I won't name names. It was very short. You probably won't even be able to figure out who it is, but he constantly made decisions that I was like, huh? what? what? And just like, Duff. but guess what? He just, constantly went out and just did these things he did stuff yeah and so i come home and i tell pace i'd be like i'm just like so confused he <laughs> and you know and pace is like he is not the smartest person in the world 
but it's like almost like you're not that like you're smart like i'm not saying he's like just yeah, yeah. a box of rocks like he's obviously intelligent enough to get through his day and put on his shoes and stuff <laughs> like that but like he just like went out and did stuff like yeah. he just took action he just did it and like it worked out a lot of the time and so he was like the pace was like you are like too smart he's like you'll just like in your brain you'll think about all the things that could happen and you'll think about all the stuff that you need to do and all this stuff that you need and you'll just think yourself to death and this guy doesn't have any of that so he just, just goes out and does just it. does yeah and so pace is like there's like this certain thing where it's like if you're too intelligent like it's almost like you'll talk yourself out of it or you'll think yourself into six months and then you still haven't done it and someone yeah. who's just like a smidge less intelligent is just gonna go out and do it and yeah. guess what they're gonna be six months ahead of you because they just went and freaking did it yeah. and so pace all the time is like oh the analysis paralysis is going <laughs> on right now and i'm like with someone and i'm like yeah it's true and you you can see it you can see pace will tell somebody something like literally how something is done, like yeah. show them like exactly like under the hood, like whatever. And then ugh, this is, I'm just still more questions and I'm still confused. I saw it like a day ago, Pace had a party at her house and, and I'm like, okay, you might not be as far down the line in six months as this guy because like you're gonna overthink it and yeah you just need to go do it just go do it nike just do it you know just do yeah. it so yeah yes analysis paralysis definitely will take out a few people for sure yeah. the other thing i see is um i don't know what i call them uh, april crosley calls them butterflies i think anna kelly calls them squirrels i call them you know the grass is always greener it's like you do this on Monday, then you do that on Wednesday, you do that on Friday, you never build up economies of knowledge, you never build up a, a foundation. Mm -hmm. If you're bouncing around once a week, once a month, mm -hmm. you're, you're always going to be at zero. Uh, and you're probably confusing yourself. 100%. Yep. Yep. I, I think, yes, I, I started teaching some of um, some people how to like find deals. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, don't do this do this. It's easy. And then it was like, Hey, getting on and asking me a question about the exact thing I told you not to do. And then I'm like, why are you doing that? Like, of course you're having do problems. That. Like, it's not, that's not the way do it this way. And then the very next day, like another person's asking the same thing. And I'm like, Oh my goodness, this is crazy. And then like, and then also asking questions about like stuff we're not even talking about. And I'm like, Hey, just for like one yeah. week or a few yeah. days, just focus on this and see if you can make a little chunk of money. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's all I want for you. Like, ah, but it's like, yes, it's, it's, I don't know. Like, I don't know what happens in their mind that maybe Carlos Reyes posts a wholesale thing and they're like, oh, wholesale. And then they listen to a Steve Train podcast and someone's talking about direct mail and they're like, oh, direct mail. And <laughs> exactly. And then they listen to Pace and they're like, oh, subject two. And it's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, just pick. Yeah. You know, just pick something and like, you know, jack of all trades, master of none type of thing. So. Yeah. No, I, I uh, again, if you're going to get my course, it's going to be right in your face. Step one's buy box. Step two's daily discipline, documents going on, and then full stop. You do anything else? Yeah. Not blessed. You know, you're, you're six or nine months away from doing anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. So, <laughs> yeah. And again, yeah, it is the people that overthink it. They go, they bounce around, they ask questions. It's like, no, it's like, it's like, this is how you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You put bread down, you do this first, you do that. I mean, don't yeah, overthink it. You get a question like, well, I try to make a grilled cheese, but. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Quesadilla, does that count? That's what? Right. And you're like, no, just the peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> what yeah. are we talking about cheese for? We Peanut butter and jelly. What was cheese added to that? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Oh, this has been so much fun. I'm glad I can relate with someone on this. How can people find you and be part of your world? Um, Instagram, Laura Morby, or you can call me, text me, whatever, 480-717-2070. And she, if you want to get business done in Arizona, reach out to her because she is in the top 1% of agents. That is just an amazing thing. And thank you for giving us time every Sunday. We appreciate it. Oh yeah, of course. Happy to be here. Thank you.